This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news, all right? So WAC 100 is back on Clubhouse talking spicy. This time he's talking about uh, Terry Flannery saying that he's a, he is the reason his brother's in jail, which he's not totally wrong. Terry was speaking on the phone a lot, and the Fed say that that gave them a lot of information they needed. It was really over, like, some girl or something that he was talking about, and then the the girls... It was a girl from Detroit, I think, and her husband was in jail, and he got jealous or something and kind of ratted on some stuff about Terry and them, and then they started tapping Terry's phone, and he spoke on the phone a lot about certain things. Even actually spoke about possibly taking his brother out at one point when they were at odds. And the feds actually let um, Big Meech know that, you know, he was uh, thinking about doing that. I wonder if Little Meech is friends with Terry Meech after, you know, kind of like, I'm, I'm sure it was a little bit more than the phone, but that probably gave him a lot of ammunition to take you know, BMF down. I mean, there was a lot of other weak links like O-Dog getting caught with, you know, bricks and telling, you know, a lot of factors went in. The guy who ran the motors, uh, the, uh, they had like a motor, what was it, 404 Motors or something where they were renting vehicles and they kept all the vehicles in the name of 404 Motors. So if the vehicles got impounded during an arrest, it would go back to 404 Motors and they would get the car back. They had a pretty complex operation, just a lot of weak links. Terry happened to be one of those weak links. Um, but, you know, he speaks about that, but th there's a lot of factors why they went down. Now, he said he got released early, no pardon, no nothing. So you should question that. Like it was, oh, they, it, that's the excuse that everyone uses that, you know, we were going through a shutdown and everything and, you know, people would get... Uh, leniency on release he said that's bs for a lot of situations and you know they kept they did keep big meech in which is weird um kodak black is tight at boosie for throwing the prom without him he said i was working on my own prom and i wanted to collaborate with you and you ignoring me <laughs> yo boosie yo kodak black and boosie are the funniest, bro. Kodak Black, Boosie, Plows, Plas, Plas. They're 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 funny, bro. But like, I would love to see Boosie and Kodak Black do something together, cause that would be hilarious. Prodigy, all his music is back on DSPs after years of discrepancies with labels and stuff. His wife and the estate were able to get everything back on DSP. So make sure you guys go check out Prodigy's music. It's back on DSPs. 50 Cent is disappointed in the XXX Tentacion um, documentary. He said it's really good, but it's missing some key things. Like he used to give back a lot and, uh, you know, detailing certain things that he was accused of that he didn't do and the proof of that, you know, and the mother agrees. You know, she, she, she uh, screened it with 50 Cent early and agreed on his points. But, you know, 50's concern was he only get one shot at someone's documentary. <clears throat> then we got uh, Kendrick Lamar. Looks like he's going to be doing about 200 something thousand the first week. How many thousand? Man, I had her pulled up too. Here it is. 286,000 the first week. His last album did 600K the first week, I think. But still, you know, the album's okay. It's not amazing. Damn was a better album. But he's an artist. He can do whatever he wants. You know, so like, it's who, who am I to judge? I like a few songs off of it, and I'm happy I got those songs. But the album is like... You just gotta be... A Kendrick fan, you know, like to, to love everything he puts out. He's very versatile. I didn't think this album was going to be anything like the last album. He's different every time. Pete Davidson reportedly leaving at SNL. That's about it, guys. I appreciate you so much. I'll check you guys in the next one.
This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Smash that like button. Sorry for the late news. We'll check you guys later. Peace.